Hello everybody, welcome back to Padfoot TD Games. My name is Zach, I'm the voice behind the icon, and today we are back once again with the beautiful Disney Wonder here in Virtual Sailor Next Generation. We are in Hawaii, just in case you happen to jump in on a random episode. We are in Hilo currently for our 10-day repositioning from Vancouver to Hawaii, uh, ending in Honolulu uh, in a couple days. Now, even though it ends at Honolulu, we are actually going to be going to Honolulu next. That is actually our um, fuel spot. And uh, we'll pick up some of our supplies. And we'll pick up more, obviously, on changeover day. But Honolulu is the best place for us to be able to get almost anything. So that is the plan. It is right before 4.45 here today. We're going to hop back up on board and uh, say goodbye to Hilo. We'll see you, I don't know, in what, half a year it feels. We'll be back. Uh, but it was really cool to be able to come back here, and um, I really do look forward to... Man, look how fast I can run. <laughs> um, I really look forward to coming back. It's going to be an interesting departure day again. we got beautiful skies, so I'm really happy for that. And I'll show you guys, once we're up on the bridge, kind of what that's going to uh, look like. So let's head on up, and let's get ready to depart, shall we? All right, back up on the bridge. And we are all set to go. We're going to be dropping lines here very shortly. Now, something that I want to be able to show you, because I rewatched our video of us actually leaving. And actually, let's pop over here, because I want to be able to show something and explain something as well. So these buoys, even though on my charts are green, they're red here, which was my misconception as I came in. And we've got shallow water through here. Uh, our departure, we are going to push away from the dock to probably about here, lined up with this pier. Turn, and uh, this is actually a turning basin, and drive ourselves out. And out we go. After we depart, our first checkpoint for uh, autopilot is going to be here. We're going to go around the island. We're going to come up. We're going to go past Maui, and we're going to cruise on over to Honolulu for an 8.30 arrival. Now, we are there until 10 p.m. tomorrow night for fuel and restocking everything. So it's going to be a long day in Honolulu for everybody, which is pretty awesome because that is not the day they're getting off. We still have two more stops after that before we will return back to Honolulu. So that's the plan. Really going to have to pay attention on our exit here. But I, I think it'll be a good challenge. So we're going to do two things. We're going to have this ready. We're going to have this. Let's actually just see really quick. Please don't break my immersion. Three, two, one. Now I got to do that quick because it has a tendency to launch us into space every once in a while. So that is good. Lines have been dropped. Okay. Now, I, we got to think this one through. We have to be pushing away from the dock and slowly going backwards at the same time. <laughs> All right. Let's bring up the controls. I think 10 will do it for us. This is the duty officer speaking from the bridge. We'll be sounding our ship's horn from the forward funnel. For those of you on the open decks at this time, you may want to cover your ears. Again, we'll be sounding our ship's horn from the forward funnel. And for those of you that are on the open decks at this time, you may want to cover your ears. Start putting a little bit of your Give a little bit more in the stern. Let's give a little bit more power for going backwards. <laughs> I did not take out that wind file yet, so sorry, you have to still deal with that. Back to there. We are successfully away from the dock. I'm going to leave us there. It's going to be a big push, really, if you think about it. It's going to be a big push into this, uh, this basin area over here. But really, we're going to get right about over here, turn, and out we'll go. Which is funny, because I, I have video of when we must have arrived. I just didn't look at it to kind of re-clarify that. Let me actually back it up really quick. I got it here on the side, so. I, I, I've got I've got what we did. <laughs> All right, that's a 
that's good enough, actually. I'm going to slow that back down, because I don't want to go be going back too far, because, again, I, I got room. I got plenty of room, but that'll be enough to clear that. So keep the thrusters going. Start working on bringing the speed down. That should be fine. But I hope you guys have had a good day. I know that I have. I'm really happy to be here filming this, and I'm really happy that, that this series finally gets to happen. Really, it makes me so excited. We were up in Alaska for a while, and it's really cool to be able to come uh, somewhere warm and some, somewhere as beautiful and tropical as, as Hawaii is. Keep on watching that. I'm gonna look at the map here. Plenty of ways to go. Because what I did was I actually time-lapsed my departure uh, when we left here. So it, it's so funny that I get to use that now as a guide. <laughs> we'll keep on drifting. Uh, we'll, we'll eventually drift to zero, so that should be fine. But overall, it seems, uh, seems a beautiful day here in Hilo. I'm, I'm a little bit mad about where I was, where I'd put myself <laughs> that close to the seawall. I was like, it feels like it should be here. Oh, boy. But, I, but it happens. And I'm also looking over at, at our actual Hawaiian footage, and I have a smile on my face. So I think overall I can't complain. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a happy camper today. All right. Let's, uh, let's get about 18%. Hi, Ezzy Bez. Hi, Ezzy. Ezzy came to say hi. Looking good, looking grand. I'm gonna pop outside really quick just to take a look. Oh yeah, yeah, we got, we got plenty of room. Kick in the other thruster. Just because I want to. They'll say goodbye to this everybody out on the beach. I remember there's a beach here. We'll be sounding our ship's horn from the forward funnel. For those of you on the open decks at this time, you may want to cover your ears. Again, we'll be sounding our ship's horn from the forward funnel. And for those of you that are on the open decks at this time, you may want to cover your ears. Thank you for your attention. Telling you, you can't give me this kind of control. I also need to find a better recording of the Disney Wonders horn itself. Um, so that's on my list as well, because this is um, very boxed, so it feels. But still, happy to be able to have that control. Ship is rotating into position, looking grand. Let's double check, nothing sn snuck up on that side. Let's pop back into the bridge. But yeah, so uh, Hilo, that was a that was a great adventure to be able to take, and I know when we come back here, I'll end up saying the story again, um, which is interesting. If you made it this far in the video, thank you. But I do have a question for you, if you happen to be able to answer it in the comments or shoot me a message. When the Disney Wonder returns, before going back to Vancouver, do you want to see a video? Would you like to see a video of our return? Ah, I kicked that a little too late. Um, and revisit some of the places that we've actually been. Now, I'm not going to do a, every week, this is Sydney, and we go to the same exact spots. I'm not going to do that. Uh, but I'm genuinely curious for kind of like the one-offs like this. Would you want to see a video? So uh, definitely let me know down in the comments below your thoughts on that. Um, because again, the, I, I probably have the same things to say, but I think, uh, we, the weather would be different, obviously. And I think it would still be a fun journey to, to behold. So I think that could be a really good idea. Let me know your thoughts as we pull on out of here again, beautiful, beautiful weather. Could not have asked for better weather here today. I remember when we arrived again, it's Hawaii. It rained, uh, pockets, nothing super, super horrible. Um, but right now it's been dry, so hopefully we'll have the same as we head to Honolulu tomorrow. Um, we should be traveling about uh, 18 knots tonight uh, to reach our destination. I'll give you a calculation tomorrow what that's going to be. 
Well, once we get around the bend and out, I'll give an announcement to everybody about tonight's activities and everything that we've got planned. Um, we actually have a local expert on board. Tell us a little bit about Hawaiian traditions in the Walt Disney Theater this evening. So that's going to be really cool. And, uh, yeah, tomorrow's going to be a busy day. We're going to get in there uh, earlier in the morning, 8.30. And uh, we've got a uh, ridiculous amount of fuel that we're putting back on board. Ignore this. I, I do have a fix for this. I, I finally fixed it on the laptop where it doesn't just sit at 99%. So you'll see eventually it'll be just like at 80. <laughs> That's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, and, uh, yeah, so you'll be able to see that come to life. But, yeah, just creeping out of the harbor here. I, this is, like, my favorite part, to be able to, to depart some of these places and be able to just enjoy. Now, I did have somebody, I read a comment the other day that was on one of uh, my Alaska videos. Why, if the computer can handle it, why I don't turn on waves when we are in port. I'm going to show you why. So we're sitting about 50 frames per second right now because there's a lot that's here. There's a lot of clouds. The game's not super, super optimized. And especially being inside, it's at like 60 frames, depending which way I look. Outside, it's higher. Let me go to graphics really quick. I'm going to turn on waves. 25. And suddenly 25 because there's just so much that it needs to render plus everything in the area. So that's why we keep it off. <laughs> Except for days of C. Uh, again, I've got a GeForce RTX 3060 Ti, which isn't the highest that it could be, but like, it is known that this game and some of the harbors that you go into, there's too many details for you to be able to load in. I want to eventually get a different gr graphics card. I've got plenty of RAM. Um, but, you know, not a high priority when I'm building a house. <laughs> uh I'm trying to figure out, like, what, what were some other highlights of Hilo and, you know, seeing seeing the Rainbow Falls, that was big for me. I love water and what water can do and seeing the natural beauty of it, um, especially after some rain. You know, they, they were pretty, they were pretty chunky. Um, I got the video actually here on the side, so I'm kind of peeking at that as well of when we pulled in and, and remembering what it all looked like. But, yeah, I remember he drove us around. He was very informative. He lived here forever. Uh, we had the priest rock that we had gone by. We went to the falls. I'm, I'm skipping through the video now to be able to see <laughs> see what we did because my memory is like a goldfish. Oh, that was the other thing. When we were up at the volcano, we were able to go through a cave. We went through um, a, a, a tube, a volcano tube. We actually walked through a volcano tube because we were in that national park. And then we took a little hike around the outside of the crater, not the full... Not the full. <laughs> that would have taken forever. Um, but I remember that. That was really cool. Ella did very, very good um, there. Because, again, you're, you're kind of, like, in the jungle, so it feels like. Um, and I wasn't sure how she was going to handle that. But she, she did great. If you are bored and you want something to watch, it's not the best put together. My vacation videos are never meant for, like, premium production. But I do like being able to share them. Uh, take a peek at Ella the Hearing Alert Service Dog's Hawaiian Adventure. It's it's pretty neat of what we were able to do and what I was able to share with you guys. Let's pop outside. Everything gets smaller and beautiful. Gonna get up here. Gonna hit a sharper turn out, and then we'll be able to get to um, more speeds, keeping around eight. Eight knots when in the pier area, five and then two, and and then you know twelve on coming in. We came in really slow this day again, was because we went from Maui to um, Hilo, which is you know on the map from here to here. Uh, yeah, it, it's slow. <laughs> Let's see. I had videos of birds. I had videos of lava. And my favorite one is as you go through some of the tubes, the big do not enter, you will die signs, you know. Always a good thing to see. Because don't go certain ways. <laughs> if you ever uh, pull up the map side by side of missing people and cave networks, it's, uh, it's astounding on how much that can correlate. <laughs> 
but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the Disney Wish series. I know that that had come out. Uh, I wanted to do this before I jumped into Carnival. We have Royal Caribbean. We have another small ship uh, that we've actually kind of customized. Uh, somebody asked me for cargo before, which I can do, but that's really... Here's my cargo ship. Here's me docking my cargo ship. Okay, we're done. Like, it's not as exciting to me, but... Could be to somebody else. Who knows? Alright, we're gonna kick it. I'm actually gonna bring down the speed just for this turn. I'm gonna go around. I don't think we're gonna need the thrusters. Yeah, it should, it should turn just fine. As we go through the, the beautiful uh, water deterrent system. As we head to Honolulu, there'll be more for me to talk about about Honolulu in the future. Um, just because we, we spent a couple days there. One of the cool things that we got to do here on Hilo, besides seeing the abandoned uh, hotel right on the Black Sand Beach, which was very surprising because it looks like amazing prime real estate, um, was being able to see turtles and see turtles uh, laying eggs, you know, that felt pretty, pretty awesome. Because, again, it's, it's you know... It feels like it should be a private nature moment, uh, being able to lay your babies. But um, just to be able to see the, the the beauty of nature and what that holds. One thing, now that I'm skipping through the video, the one thing that I also remember is getting back onto the ship was, my God, insane. It took so long to get through the line of people. that were there in the way <laughs> um, there, there's just uh, it was very slow customs process oh, now it's the time lapse of us leaving yeah we're, we're taking the pretty much the same route out turn point and eh, they didn't turn as much as we did and they stayed pretty in the middle of it but I think we had ships in the way yeah we we, we yeah we pretty close. I'm not going to remember, and I wish that I would remember to do so, but I'm like, I should actually just put the video in here. I'm not going to remember to do that. Unfortunately. That's just how my brain works. Not well. Alright. Eight knots. Clearing the wall. Estimate. That's one thing that I wish that I had like uh, modern ships have is it'll show you an estimated course like if I was in this direction it would show me this is going to be my loop we're, we're gonna make it we're gonna make plenty before we get out uh, but I wish I wish I could have that it just you know put my mind a little more at ease let's pop up and let's see what it looks like on the deck shall we yeah very very nice not set up for pirates night yet I have tried my darndest to find a way there's there's a weapon system that can be used here on the sim that I know people use for like battleships and stuff and shoot shoot off rockets I have looked I cannot figure it out I wanted to put some rockets back here so that we could actually do pirates night I think that would be the coolest thing to be able to do um, it's just going to take more time for me to figure it out I, I'm sure there's a way out there I could probably figure out how to open this file in blender and and, and sneak it in Palo somewhere. I think it'd be pretty cool. Just be able to have that. Some, somebody, because Roblox, there's a ship sim inside of Roblox says you can do anything in Roblox, which actually doesn't look horrible, horrible. And I told myself, eventually we'll actually have to do it when we've done everything we can in Virtual Sailor just to be able to put out, uh, you know, this is other options. And I saw somebody who who was sitting here, they had the camera pointed this way, and they took a screenshot. And they actually used a different piece of software to fire fireworks. And it blew my mind because I was like, oh my gosh, you were able to do it. And they're like, no, I, I cheated this way. And I was like, you know what? I didn't know. It looked great. Your concept was there. That's all that I cared about. Let's see. I'm going to select that waypoint. I'm going to put there we can start kicking up to 12 you can hear those engines running because there's not a, just a hum of the ship I 
do hate, again, still hate that it puts it at full full. So, you know, the stacks are blowing like crazy. And, you know, I'd rather it gradually go in there. And, and I could do that, you know, by hand. Just sit here and talk about it. Just do it. Because, so, again, we don't have to go full speed, 110 miles an hour, to get ourselves, you know, where we need to go. that we'll kick it up a little bit I did have somebody ask me what was my favorite destination in Hawaii now that one's a tricky one to go into and look at from the ship was not willy willy because it was a very unique way of getting into the port I really enjoyed the maneuvering I think there was just something about it and I took my favorite photo there but as for stuff to do on the island because we did keep with the ship uh, it, it fell a little flat, unfortunately. So I was thinking about this. I was, I was really trying to think about it last night. Of, like, what? What would be my favorite? And I think it's going to come down to Maui. Because, again, being able to stand on top of the world, every island had its unique piece. You know, whether it was looking at the volcano, standing on the, the world's tallest mountain from sea dead to, you know, to the tallest, which, you know... It's not as high as Mount Everest, but it's considered the tallest on Maui. The whole experience was amazing. Nothing will top, I think, our experience at Honolulu before the ship, obviously, because we had, you know, we went to the where they filmed some of the Jurassic Park and the Jurassic Valley and, and, and learned so much. It was, it was pretty spectacular. But it looks like we are just about ready to finish our turn as we get ready to hit the open sea. We're just about to hit 12 knots here, which is where I wanted to be to start out. But I actually just realized I could probably go up to 18, but 12 will do it for now, at least until we can get out here. And then once we're more at sea, we'll kick it up to about 18 knots. I would much rather crawl this last amount. Uh, and just make sure that we don't run into any systems, anything, you know, that we weren't ready for, propulsion issues, anything like that. But there you go, everybody. That is our departure from Hilo as it goes off into the darkness. We will see you in about a month or so. Not a month or so. Six months or so when we come back from Australia, but it was great to be able to see them and we are destined for Honolulu. Let's head on and uh, let's give a little chat. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls aboard the Disney Wonder. This is your Captain Zach speaking from the bridge. I hope that you had a beautiful day in Hilo today and you got to enjoy the local sights and culture. Tonight we'll be sailing about 230 nautical miles. That's not right. We'll be sailing to Honolulu. <laughs> we'll be sailing to Honolulu uh, for an 8.30 a.m. departure into, uh, into Honolulu for a full day of activities. Tonight in the Walt Disney Theater we have a local coming on board to teach us a little bit about Hawaiian history and the culture as we sail between these islands. I hope that you had a great day and I hope that you have a wonderful evening here on board. And we'll see you tomorrow in Honolulu. Bye-bye. Well, that was not the best one that I could have done. The, the problem is I had like this little like bullet points that I wanted to go to and I was like, you know what? I actually didn't measure from the last time how far this was going to be. Oops. Tell you what, I can actually do this. So, do, 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 do. If I did. Oh, yeah, you move. I forgot. So, if you're here to here, that's 50. Uh, 125. 200 miles. 200 out of the class. 
That doesn't feel right, right? That feels like... Yeah. If this diagram's to be trusted. Yeah, it, it does move. All right, 200 miles for us to travel. <laughs> but we're going to just sit up here, enjoy, watch as this everything fades away behind us. And we're going to call it a night here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, we do try to get a video out here on the channel every single day. And we really do appreciate your continued support. But with that, I thank you guys so much for coming out to this one. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.